So the next one that we have here is our comparator function. And um, well, I had a definition for you uh, for the comparator function as to what the comparator has to do. It basically needs to, um, well, we said that we have a predefined temperature that is already set in the code. In your case, it is 28 degrees. And that basically tells us that we want that room to always be at 28 degrees. Now, if the temperature in the room goes above or below 28 degrees, um, that function is going to print out something. It's going to print the difference. And then it needs to also tell us um, whether or not we need to increase the temperature or whether or not we need to decrease the temperature. So this function here well it doesn't return anything as you can see it is um it has void in front of it however this one has arguments the type is a float and here i call this as a valid as the, um yeah, that's the argument it's going to take your function needs to go right in here on the code provided i have some pseudo codes there for you and if you follow it accordingly you should be able to implement your um your program Okay, but in order to implement this, there are some variables that has been declared for you at the top of the main file that you have. Um, they are called um, global variables. What is a global variable? A type global variable in Google and uh, see what you get. You're going to understand it from there. Okay, so um, yeah, at the top, uh, I had defined for you that's a temperature D, that's the... Um, that's what I call it, that uh, temperature D28, meaning that that's the defined, the predefined temperature that is set in the code and 28 degrees. You can feel free to change that, but it's totally up to you. And now we need to consider some different points. What are the different things you need to consider about the temperature? Well, we need to consider when the temperature, which is the temperature in the room that we are measuring, as you can see here, temperature is less than the predefined temperature. So when the temperature in the room is under 28 degrees Celsius, what should happen? Well, you should, you should be able to get the temperature difference. How do you obtain temperature difference? Well, at the bottom here, I have something nicely done for you here. You can call a variable temp diff, and temp diff will be equal to um, temperature defined minus the current temperature. So you can just implement this in code. Once you would have gotten the difference in temperature, you would want to print something to the LCD, for example, um, something that would tell you, well, you need to increase the temperature. As in the case in the code that we have running for you, it shows two double plus sign and followed exactly by the temperature difference, which is what you'd have written here. So it displays a symbol that increases the temperature. It's, that would be of your choice. And then you print the temperature difference. So that is it if the temperature is lower than the predefined temperature. Well, um, the other one is if the temperature is greater than the predefined temperature. Well, if the temperature is greater than the predefined temperature, we also need to find that difference. Um, what is the difference? We need to print it to the screen. We also need to remember to print a symbol that will indicate, that will tell the user whether or not they need to increase the, um, whether or not they need to increase the, um, the temperature or whether or not they need to decrease the temperature.